Okay, in this example, we're going to look at uh, what happens if you use the Structural Draw Rhino or Structural SSI plugins to generate structural analysis models from um, Rhino curves, which might have been created by someone external in the design team, or or by someone else in your, or by you, generated by Grasshopper, Baking, etc. You'll see that intentionally, I've, in this example, I've used a very loose tolerance in creating the structure and that the end snaps of the curves don't hit the perimeter curves of the uh, of the dome and indeed that also the all of the diagrid members and that have also a very loose tolerance and and don't and physically sit in slightly different positions in 3D space um so if i try and intersect any two of these curves within a typical document tolerance so we'll find zero intersections existing between between these curves but for a structural analysis model, the representation would be that the connection would exist. Uh, so what the tools allow you to do is to specify what tolerance you'll use for breaking elements or members at uh, where the points or the curves um, come within tolerance of each other. So we're going to do this in the Sophistic version of the plugin. Uh, and here you can see that I can set a very loose um, node tolerance of half a meter, which will cover the couple of hundred millimeter gap that I've got between my structures. You can nominate things like the property for the elements or the default property that the, for the elements that you assign and you can also control element node ID numbering um, and as well as whether you want to nominate a second set of curves for specifying where you want to mesh the, uh, the elements with nodes where it comes say with around this primitive member we we'll want to break and put a node here where it comes within tolerance of the end of the of the dome members. So if I select the perimeter curve first of all, uh, and then we want to connect all these purple curves to the perimeter thing. So I can select those those curves, and then you'll see it's created the structural analysis layers, and it has put a node in where it's come within distance or tolerance of the end of those elements. We can carry on and do the same for the other members, giving them slightly different properties so that we can assign different cross sections and things to them. Uh, and finally, we'll do the third property for the rings. And then what you'll notice is that we have a straight line structural analysis model representation of it. We can extract the structural analysis model data from the model and then paste it into Teddy. I uh, will then just open in the viewer quickly to double check that we've got a successful generation of a structure analysis representation of that dome. So if I open it in the graphics program, and there you'll see that it's created the Sophistic model. So we can uh, do some initial checks and sizes on, on the representation of the curve structure.